Good day. Uh, welcome to a short briefing on uh, the progress of Hurricane Lee, uh, which is uh, still a hurricane um, down, uh, <clears throat> down south. Uh, next slide, please. So the latest conditions, uh, this was as of uh, noon um, uh, or uh, noon Atlantic time, 11 o'clock uh, this morning Eastern. Uh, again, we still had a hurricane on our hands, a category one uh, with uh, winds of 150 kilometers per hour. The center of the storm was located about uh, 1,650 kilometers to the south southwest of Halifax. Uh, we've seen the storm accelerate here over the last um, uh, day or so. It is now moving northward. That that uh, anticipated north uh, turn has occurred and is moving north now at about 22 kilometers per hour. Um, <clears throat> and that would uh, bring it into our response zone on Friday. Uh, again, prob most likely as a hurricane. Um, so next slide. So just going through the uh, expected track, this is kind of a, a large view of uh, the expected track of the storm. Uh, again, we expect it to enter our response zone <clears throat> on Friday uh, before taking aim at uh, Western Nova Scotia into the Bay of Fundy area, uh, potentially as far uh, west as Maine. Um, so what we tend to what we tend to advise people is not necessarily necessarily to focus on the the exact track of the storm but the potential area which is the area in uh, yellow so we're still talking about um, a storm that could um, track into um, eastern maine or the center of the storm could actually track uh, just east of the halifax area so that's still on the table right now but uh confidence is increasing that we'll see something come up into the gulf of maine and either make landfall in western nova scotia or along the Fundy coast of new brunswick so next slide so this is just a closer view of where we expect the storm uh, to go. But what I really wanted to focus here is on the watches and warnings. Uh, the area in um, in red is essentially our um, <clears throat> essentially our watches for uh, potential hurricane conditions. So we don't expect those to necessarily happen right now. It's just a watch. Uh, it's just that they could happen. So we may see some higher gusts in those areas. Um, uh, the, the darker shaded yellow areas uh, are essentially our tropical storm watches. So we have tropical storm watches and hurricane watches in effect right now. Uh, it'll be important to watch for any changes in those watches, uh, whether they're upgraded to warnings or whether they're expanded, depending on the track of the storm. Uh, and I'll just remind uh, uh, folks that <clears throat> tropical storm uh, uh, watches are for the potential for winds in excess of uh, uh, about 63 kilometers per hour, where a hurricane uh, watch is, <clears throat> um, is for winds in, in excess of 118 kilometers per hour. So uh, next slide, please. This is just a map of expected rainfall by Sunday afternoon. So we know that rainfall um, uh, is uh, potentially going to be an issue with this storm, uh, especially with all the rain that we had over the course of the summer. However, based on the current track, it looks like the heaviest rainfall will stay just to the west of Nova Scotia and just to, just to the southwest of um, southwestern New Brunswick <clears throat> or in the Gulf of Maine area based on the current track. We do have a system going through uh, today and tonight that's going to bring some rain. There's going to be a break in between that and the rain that we're going to see with Lee. Um, so we're talking amounts that could exceed 100 millimeters in the extreme western parts of Nova Scotia and southwestern New Brunswick uh, by the time this is all said and done. But for other areas, we're looking for, we're looking at uh, amounts that should be certainly less than that. Next slide. So before I, I just mentioned uh, I mentioned how to get information, the one thing I wanted to add is uh, in terms of um, waves and um, storm surge. <clears throat> Whenever you have a storm of this nature approaching, uh, we will get a, a, a rise in water level at the coast, uh, so elevated water levels. Uh, so we are going to expect we are expecting waves to reach the coast uh, later today into tonight. 
Um, and uh, those will continue to grow over the course of the next uh, couple of days uh, into Saturday as well. <clears throat> so we ex we're expecting the, the, the highest waves to occur along the Atlantic coast of Nova Scotia, potentially into the Bay of Fundy area of New Brunswick, um, uh, a small portion of that area at least. Um, so that is something that in terms of any kind of coastal impacts, we have to wait to see how this uh, storm surge is going to coincide with the with the tide of the day. Uh, so we'll know more information as we go on, and you can get the information in our bulletins. That's on our website at uh, Canada.ca/hurricanes, or for information on how to get prepared for storms like this, uh, you can go to getprepared.ca.